Hey guys, Jeff Bader here from My Haunted Manor USA. I'm dumping some footage from our amazing opening night last Friday. Had incredible guests come through, have some experiences. Um, you know, we stayed till till 3, 4 a.m. And it was an incredible night. So much footage. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to touch on one thing that we caught in episode three that we really didn't get to, to speak about too much. Um, and that's the disembodied no that we caught in the kids' room. Um, this was the night where DSGI came through, Diamond State Ghost Investigators, um, as our soft launch to our grand opening. Um, and we had some amazing evidence caught that night. Um, some great experiences, you know, that we didn't have on camera, but um, everyone experienced something, which is, you know, it's great to say, you know, we can't guarantee that, but it's the hope. Um, and Diamond State is a team that has been around, you know, in the Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland, the whole East Coast. They've been investigating for 20 years. Uh, it's a team I trust, Trey trusts. Um, you know, they're not people that are in this to fake anything, and, and neither are we, you know. We're not in this to fake it. We're not in it to fool anybody. Um, you know, I work the manor as my, you know, second full-time job. I'm in marketing. I do TV commercials. Um, also, you know, this is my life. I have a one-year-old, so... You know, I'm barely getting episodes out on time, let alone have any time to add anything fakery or effects. Um, but what I wanted to do was show you guys longer cuts of these two cameras from the kids' room. One is um, in the room, Brian from Interstate on our team was using a Canon night vision camera and then also our static room that's in the kids' room. Um, both of these picked up the no. Um, everyone in the room heard it. One thing I did find out that, you know, so there's a lot of speculation about this clip online uh, that, you know, made us want to touch on this. Um, one is that when we cut to the static room cam, um, you know, it doesn't match what the Canon shows. And that's exactly right. Um, what I'm finding out is that there is a delay. There's like a 10, 15 second delay between the audio and the video of the room cams. And, you know, this is a learning process for us. And this is the first time, you know, we've caught something on a, you know, an actual camera in the room and can back it up with the, the room cam. So it's something I need to, to think about for the future. But um, I want to show you guys where you can see their reaction and then you'll hear it. So there is a delay. So here is the clip that we used from the show. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? That was really... Exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. It, it almost sounded like... Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I that was, was not you? That no. wasn't me. Was that one of them upstairs? All right, so y'all need to look at the cameras. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again? That was really exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. And here is the a little bit longer clip of the Canon night vision camera that Brian was using. Unedited. Car. Mm -hmm. Because I see it in the hallway there. This is the like, small one? Yes. So I'll let her drive by if we'll see it. Can you set yeah. off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? That was Someone really. Exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. It almost sounded like, yeah, That's what I heard. Yeah. Wait, so I that was not of us? That no. wasn't me. Was that one of them upstairs? All right, so y'all need to look at the cameras. <laughs> I literally was like, Wait, ask them upstairs that they just went. Did any one of them whisper? Did anyone on the third floor just whisper? It's, it's, it's the walkie. Loudly. No, it's the walkie. Yeah. It'll go off with the EMF from the walkies. What? No, I heard I heard it like over here. And that's why I like I was I thought it was like right where they are. Yeah. Yeah. Can you set off the the lamp the thing? I heard no. This sounded like someone was whispering. No, all five of us heard it. After I asked. So here's the room cam, longer cut where. You can see there's a delay in the audio. You guys are doing no, like, installation or, like, anything. Well, there's there a car. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again? Yes. 
see it in the hallway there. It's really small, right? Yeah. So I wonder if it drops by if we see it. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? No. I was I really that too. I heard that too. Yeah. It almost sounded like that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I that was another one? Yeah. Was that one downstairs? All right, so y'all need to look at the cameras. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's something that we felt was necessary to include in the episode. Um, it's, I think, a great piece of evidence. It's a, it's such a clear EVP, but it's also heard in the room. Well, I was pointing my camera towards my teammate, Sierra, and a member of Diamond State Ghost Investigations. Um, at that time, we were asking yes or no questions to try to get response from spirits of the house and the kids. Um, there was a time where my teammate, Sierra, asked, can you set off that lantern again for us? And as she asked that question, we heard a loud disembodied voice say no really loud um to the point where we all thought it was someone in that room at that time we we're all was that you was that you it was nobody uh, to me it sounded like it was right in front of me almost like on top of me um and then and people across the room thought it was right in front of them as well um so it was a very eerie cool experience man i challenge everybody to come out and try to experience this for themselves um this kind of stuff happens all the time and that's why it's great that they have cameras everywhere um you know i challenge every everyone who doesn't believe it to come out and experience for yourself we were using a pararum device that we refer to as twinkle twinkle during this investigation i had asked hey if can you please set off twinkle twinkle for me and instead of the device going off, we heard, heard a, an audible no, which sounded like no, which was pretty, pretty crazy, pretty wild. Um, we didn't know where it came from. We're all, all of us that were in the room were looking around saying, was it you? Was it you? And it wasn't anybody of us. So that, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. So I just walked into the room. Um, I was there for about a minute or so before we heard this. So I'm standing there. I'm to the left, Brian's to the right. And then we had a member from DSGI. Uh, in between us. So we're there. I see Sierra. I hear her say, can you set off Twinkle Twinkle? And then right after that, we hear a, no. Um, it was a deep, dark voice. So we're all kind of looking around being like, did anyone hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Um, I couldn't explain it. None of us could. No. No. Um, yeah. So, you know, with my haunted manor, it is such an active location. So I would say anyone that doubts any of the activity that we're able to catch there, um, I would challenge you to come out for yourself. Um, come out, explore the place, do your own investigation, and see why we're saying that this place is so active. You know, I need to decide and, and talk to the team how we want to move forward with that delay. You know, do we adjust the audio to match the real-time video? Um, you know, I'm trying to get this stuff out to you guys as quickly as possible. But you know, it's all part of learning, you know, and, and we're just gonna get better as we go. You know, we, what we wanna put out is things that we're proud to put out, things that we know are factual, things that happened to us and to the people, the guests that stay here. Um, you know, it's very easy to, to speculate and, and say fake. Um, you know, it's just the nature of the beast with the paranormal um, and putting shows out and putting content out. Um, but everything that we put out as evidence is things that we can 100% back up and will, you know, die on the hill for because, you know, we're, we're not in this to fake it, you know. I mean, I have a Christmas tree still up, guys. I'm just trying to get this stuff out to you. It's an exciting beginning for us. And hopefully, you know, we don't have to do this for every piece of evidence we catch because I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping we catch a lot. And... Uh, you know, no one's going to drill any holes in any walls. You know, this is a historic building. But bring a scanner. Scan whatever you want. Uh, you know, we have nothing to hide. And our doors are open. So book a room and come check it out. We're just trying to investigate this place as best we can. Get it out to you guys. And, you know, share these experiences with the world. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.